Hi, I'm Ricky Johnson with Microchip Technology. This will be a very brief tutorial on how to use the PicKit 4 to program a PIC microcontroller. The PicKit 4 can work with a variety of different devices. For a full list of compatible devices, please see the product release notes. By the end of this tutorial, you will be able to flash your PIC MCU quickly and easily with very few connections. I will program a PIC16F18446 microcontroller to blink an LED so that I can verify that the flashing of my device was successful. To get started, verify that you have a version of MPLAB X 4.15 or newer downloaded. Versions older than this will not work with the PicKit 4. The PicKit 4 Quick Start Guide is a very helpful document that details all of the steps necessary to get your first program flashed onto your PIC MCU. Along with this quick start guide, I will be using the PIC16F18446 datasheet to verify all of my connections. Pin 1 of the PICKIT 4 is indicated by the arrow. This is your programming pin. This pin needs to be connected to the MCLR or the programming voltage pin on the target device. For the PIC16F18446, this is pin 4. Pin 2 of the PICKIT 4 is VDD or the supply voltage. Therefore, it needs to be connected to the VDD pin on the target device, which is located on pin 1. Pin 3 of the PICKIT 4 is the ground connection, or VSS. I will connect this to pin 20 of my target device. The fourth connection on the PICKIT 4 is the programming data pin, or PGD. This needs to be connected to the ICSPDAT pin on the target device, which on the PIC16F18446 is pin 19. The last connection needed is for the programming clock. On my target device, this is pin 18. Additionally, the quick start guide recommends a 50 kilo ohm resistor in between the programming voltage pin and VDD. This will serve as a pull-up resistor for your circuit. You may be able to program your target device without this resistor being added. However, there may be times in which the PICKIT 4 is not able to correctly program the target device due to an unstable voltage. Therefore, this pull-up resistor ensures that you have a stable voltage level every time you are ready to program. These are all of the connections that are needed. Therefore, I can open MPLAB X and program the device. My project is configured so that pin 10 of my PIC MCU is set up as a target pin, which toggles on and off every 500 milliseconds. I would like to use my PIC kit to power my device. To do this, click the drop-down menu next to the Build Project button and click Customize. Next, click PK4 under the Categories pane in the left-hand window. Then click the Options Category drop-down and select Power. Finally, check the Power Target Circuit from PicKit 4 checkbox. This now means that the PicKit 4 will supply the voltage level specified in the Voltage Level field to your target device. If you do not enable this, an external power supply will be needed for your device, or else the PicKit 4 will not be able to program it. Click Apply, then OK to save these changes. This is all that we need for our setup. Therefore, I can now click the Make and Program Device button. As you can see, the programming of my PIC MCU was successful, indicated by the blinking LED. This tutorial gave a quick introduction as to how to flash a PIC microcontroller using the PIC Kit 4. With this device, it is no longer necessary to buy full development boards with onboard programmers. This can greatly reduce the cost of each part that you buy and additionally reduce the amount of space that your application occupies. The PicKit 4 makes flashing microcontrollers easy with very few connections. This is great for situations in which multiple devices need updates. If your circuitry is configured so that the connections to the PicKit 4 are easily attachable, you can very quickly reflash each of your target devices. For more information about the PicKit 4, please click on the link provided in the description below. I'm Ricky Johnson with Microchip Technology. Thank you for watching.